Oh, I would love to do this. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so fun. There you go. Woo! Ayan Seo. Hello, my name is Brennan. I'm from the United States. I am a Marine combat veteran who has fought in Afghan twice. Now I live in South Korea where I am a professional MMA fighter. Uh, UDT, um, for sure, those guys are tough. And I know the Korean Marines have a special forces unit as well. And there's also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, police special forces units too, inside like cooling the SWAT. So I know there's like a lot of militant units that are uh, really specializing in operations and tactics and stuff, so. Have you heard of the I have not. I don't really watch TV like that unless I'm like somewhere in the hair salon or something like that. That's the only time I watch. I don't really watch TV. Oh. That is going to be a good time. That is like if there was a, if the room was closed in and there was so much testosterone fuming out, everyone would just get choked because that's as much, that's a lot of testosterone in one place. Oh man, I can only imagine. Okay. Tuk Chung Sa. This is amazing. Like, I never even heard of these guys. Like, I never heard of these guys, but these guys look really tough. So, I'm pretty shocked. You can see the picture called Pak Chunu. This man served 14 years in total. Currently, he is debuted as a Korean trot winner. Oh, I like trot. I love, I love trot. Oh my gosh, I love going to the traditional markets and this trot music. I'm like, oh, I want to dance but then I don't want to be offensive. But I love chart music. I love Korean chart music. It's, oh my goodness. I think I've heard of these guys before. I, I think uh, Igun Dei, we, when we were talking, he talked about the guys as well. So yeah, I think I heard of these guys. So they're actually part of the special warfare clan. So they're actually picked within that special warfare clan. That is amazing. I just want to see how they operate. Yes, that is the mission. And I would say is that, especially all Marines, Marines for the most part, because it depends on the person, but for, the, for like 99% of the Marine Corps, rather it's Korean or American, we are very durable. I really respect Korean Marines as well, because I know they're durable and they could take a lot, so. So he was a previous, like first generation of the idol. I, I, I like this, like you, you cannot tell the way, the way, look at his like, the way his neck is posture is like, are there anyone to come across me? They will receive all my fury. Dude looks pretty intimidating. I'm gonna be honest. He looks intimidating. Like, you know, he knows a thing or two. I like that. I have trying to think of the movie, Men of Honor. They're uh, Navy sea divers. So those guys are really tough guys. So I can imagine the, even though they don't have like the, the things as an actual infantry, you know, operations uh, team, these guys are pretty tough because if they go through sea diving, they had to go through some intense things. Cause I can imagine uh, Men of Honor, they did the Navy divers in the US. So I know these guys went through a lot in their training. So these guys are tough. Like I wouldn't underestimate them at all. I knew it. I seen one of my former training partners and uh, coaches. He was a part of that as well. I knew that what I knew that they existed. I just didn't know the title until now. So this is nice. This team is only consists of soldiers. Huh? So I get that they're soldiers, but there got to be at least one person in command because if you have just soldiers and no one that's in command, that's like a snake with his head cut off, you know. If I were to say anyone were to be a leader, it would have to be Kim Ming Su. I would say he'd be the leader. I'm looking to see what these guys went for because UDT are like the cream of the crop. Uh, no disrespect to any other special forces commands, but UDT is up there. Like it's like whatever they do, they're just good at whatever. It's like it's like literally like the UDT just had like a bunch of guys, and then they just get like a claw and just went and just picked the guy up. Oh, are you gonna be good? No. Yeah, you you would be good at everything. You know, so that's what I feel like they did, you know, so. Yes. It's very, it's gaining a lot of interest from the audience of his face and his physical. Above all, all the, uh, the strong mentality that he's portraying in the program. Mm. I like his hair. I mean, I'm not trying to sound funny, but like, dude, like if you can do that and have lustrous locks and hair, it's, it's, it's even a plus, you know? Like if you're winning at everything and your hair is just like long and luscious, it's like, 
Prince Charming. Strong, durable, and charisma, and hair. You can't beat that. You can't beat it. Oh. 707. Oh. Time out. That is, whoever that, I had to look at, I had to look at who that guy is, but thank you. He saw the officer and he, he saluted and gave him the proper greeting of the day. That is respectful, honorable. I like you for it. Dominant, yeah. But the UDT has not come in yet, have they? Not yet. <laughs> Let them carry on with it, it's cool. Oh. I, I, I get how they could do that. I don't agree with it, personally. Um, if, I, if I were going to a militant show, I mean, I feel like, take, it, take me as I am. You know, I'll bring entertainment, of course, and I'll talk and make jokes and stuff like that because of my personality. However, I could not sit there and disrespect another service member or bring any, just for views and attention. I think it's bullshit, and I think it's literally uncalled for. You know, these guys have on a uniform as well, so why would you go and try to like taunt them with their history? If he was a K-pop singer, he was, past tense. Oh, yep. That's, that's, the, that's the mentality that the UDT has, and that's what I respect, like, UDT say, oh, he's a Marine, Respect him, but I'm gonna beat him. This is UDT, I wouldn't say nothing. The, the moment UDT walked in, I would've shut everything up. Because like, these guys are UDT. I haven't seen the full program, I don't believe. However, when I first saw the photos, I'm like, okay, this is pretty good, they have the profiles. But when they started going in, I personally, I mean, if, let's be real, these guys are not, only one of them is a professional fighter. And even he is not even talking trash, you know? So I feel like, this is not pro MMA. You don't have to sell the show. The military is popular now. You don't have to have these guys to disrespect other service members in order to get those views. They're going to come, you know. But that's just me thinking. Come on. Ooh. Oh, uh, come on, come on, buddy. He has to clear it. Oh. Uh, he did. He did well. Oh, he's taking off the jacket. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, whoa. I don't know why he has to take off the, the, the shirt, but. Oh, he's clearing well. Oh. Okay, hey, on day. Come on, one more. Meet the minimum. Okay, 20. I'm proud of you, no matter what. Don't kip. Don't kip. Ah. Oh. This is basically, without the water, this is basically what pro fighters train and do every day with the maneuver, with the grappling and stuff like that. So my money's on Song. So if Song gets, uh, my prediction is if Song gets him against the actual area, the, 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 like the backing wall area, and gets him, he'll, he'll definitely win because a lot of pro fighters specialize in cage fighting and we have to work on the actual cage. If Song gets him up to the actual walling or whatever, and he can use that wall to his advantage, he'll definitely get the guy out for sure. So right now Song is working to get him in. Okay, I'm focusing on Song right now. Ooh, this is amazing. Okay, ooh. That's what I'm talking about, see? Right there, boom. There you go, woo! That is exactly what I'm talking about. Remember when I said that if he gets him up to the wall, he's gonna use that to his advantage in order to get him out? So I knew immediately, him being a fighter professionally, he is definitely going to get him up to the cage, work the cage, get the upper advantage, get him out. It's, it's, just, ba it's just basics. Oh, he's pushing him out. Okay, 707 out. You <laughs> Oh, I would love to do this. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so fun. Like right now, what he's doing, time out. The guy on the edge is 707, right? What he's doing is he's trying to use distance to try to gain an advantage. You cannot do that. As uh, someone who's a grappling specialist, I want to say you can't use distance in order to try to gain the advantage. With grappling or any type of 
body grappling or wrestling, you have to get in close in order to gain the advantage. You know, so when he was using the pushing back, he's actually limiting himself because he's backing up towards the actual walling. So when him using that distance, he's making himself in a very, very unstable position. So I was like, what is he doing? Because like, in order to win a grappling, you have to actually engage and get in close to get the upper hand. So I was really confused, but yeah. Ooh, wow, you, you is tough. Oh, he's like, oh, look at his face, look at his face. He's like, oh, get out of here. Kitana, 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 they're, they're men, it's all good. Oh, oh, that is good, good. Pushing, pushing, lunging, and he is going out. Oh, that was nice. If he was able to keep pushing him. Oh, oh this is so fun. Why can't, can we do this? Wow. UDT resists you. UDT. UDT. <laughs> oh, that is, that's, that's teamwork. Oh. Oh, that's. Uh, I think it's a great show overall. I don't really get down with the trash talking disrespect. I don't really like that. However, I think it's a really good show to like a test of uh, sports, sportsmanship and manliness and testosterone. It's good every once in a while. Don't really approve of the trash talking. However, I do think that this is a really good show and the, like, the test and see like who is like the toughest, you know. So I, I definitely, definitely like it. <laughs> So today we watched The Iron Squad. Um, to all the participants that uh, were on the show, I highly respect you guys for going in and testing yourselves. And they have, you have to have very strong willpower in order to do that and very strong confidence. So I really applaud and respect your uh, perseverance and how you give your all on the show. So if you like this video, be sure to comment below. Also be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the future. So, so.